What is up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's go right into the news. Our first story is coming from Casey Neistat. Apparently today, he became a fan of Logan Paul. He tweeted out, Dear Logan Paul, thanks for the sweet Maverick swag. Love you and your bird. And after Casey Neistat tweeted this, Jake Paul got super butt hurt. Jakey Paul tweeted out, so you're gonna go from sneak dissing us to repping the merch, you good bro? Showing a screenshot of what Casey Neistat said about the current vlogs on YouTube. Casey said, watching a lot of new fast rising vloggers on YouTube. There's a pattern of super fast cuts, crazy high energy, and a lot of screaming at the camera. I'm going to slow my vlogs down some, make them more about the people, the perspectives, and the chemistry, because that's what I'd like to see more on YouTube. So basically what Casey Neistat is saying is that the current vlogger doesn't actually have good content. They just have a lot of jump cuts and flashy shit going on to entertain little kids. And even though Casey Neistat didn't mention any vloggers in this message, Jake Paul assumes that he's talking about him. <laughs> but that's when big brother Logan Paul put his foot down to Jakey Poo. Logan quoted Jake's tweet and said, easy bro, I'll beat your ass. All right, all right, good shit, Logan. Not really a fan, but if you beat Jake's ass, I'll subscribe to you. Also in the news, that crazy feminist known as Lacey Green started dating, well, a, a, a comedian known as Chris Raygun, and now all the social justice warriors hate Lacey Green when she is actually one of them. Yesterday, Lacey tweeted out, help, I think I made it into the blockchain. All the social justice Twitters I visited today have barred me from reading their perspectives. So basically what Lacey is saying is all the social justice warriors on Twitter have blocked her. Well, an article came out today from the Heat Street saying that the feminist YouTuber Lacey Green has been exiled to Twitter's block bot. Now, I didn't even know this thing existed, but apparently the social justice warriors of Twitter made this giant list of Twitter accounts to automatically block so they can live in a safe little bubble where they don't hear any opinions different than theirs. And now Lacey Green is on it. Come to find out, I was actually on this list too. Also in the news, Face Apex avoided a goddamn massacre thanks to Drake. He tweeted out this. Some crazy lady road raged at me today, but I couldn't hear her because I was blasting Drake. She looked real mad though. It's a slow news day. Also in the news, this YouTuber was gone forever and now he's returned. The YouTuber known as Red Key Mun's last video was uploaded on May 20th, 2015. Now he's a GTA YouTuber that does like stunts and stuff and he's been gone for over two years. And when he uploaded his last video two years ago, he had 669,000 subscribers. And get this, okay? Even though he hasn't uploaded any videos for over two years, his channel still got views and grew. His channel is currently at 1.7 million subscribers. He hasn't uploaded in two years and he gained 1.1 million subs. Today, he returned by posting a comment on his last video saying, hey guys, first of all, I'm still alive. Sorry for not giving you any news. I apologize for this. I hate saying goodbye. That's why I never did. I always want to come back, but never got the motivation to. I barely log on and I did not want to read any comments as it's difficult to read these when you kind of stop doing videos. I never intended to quit as it was just a break, but then months stacked up and you feel like it's too late to make a change. I think I'll never realize how much subscribers I have or had I gained more than 1 million subs since my last video. More than half of my subs never saw an actual video uploaded by me. Thanks for everything, the support, the love, the comments. It has been amazing and always will. Wishing you the best of everything. 
Don't know if I'll come back. That shit is just actually crazy to me. He gained more subs by being gone than, than, than actually uploading videos. And now for our final story. Get ready for this one. Um, okay, so there's this ex-reality TV star known as Jamie. He's really trying to be a YouTuber, but his YouTube's not really taken off. He tweeted out, laughing my ass off, Christian Burns just DM'd me his address. That ain't far from me. Tempted to pay him a visit. So apparently, Jamie, ex reality TV star, and Christian Burns are about to get into a fight. Then earlier today, Jamie tweeted out, I'm coming for you, Burns, with this Twitter video. Roll it. You think I'm fucking joking? I ain't fucking joking. We out here, we in the car. I'm, I'm coming to your house, Christian. I will see you soon. Oh, shit! These two are about to really fight. Then a Twitter video of them two fighting got leaked by this person with this weird fucking name. Here's the clip. Roll it. Fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out of my house. Dude, fuck off. Wait, what the fuck? Is this like a publicity stunt? Because that shit's fake as fuck. Like Lance Stewart being pulled out of a goddamn bed for playing around with a Ouija board is more real than this shit. Fuck out of my house. This is the worst publicity stunt I've ever seen. Like, this shit is fake as fuck. I know someone right now is frantically typing in the comments. It's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> trust me, trust me. This is not fucking real. This is fake as shit. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the news. Guys, if you love drum work, make sure you slap a like on it. We are so close to 2 million subs. I gotta figure something out for my 2 million special. If you love drum work, slap a like on it. Drum work nation now over 1,900,000 subscribers.